minute welcome back to you can do it so what we're going to do is we're changing these tires which are 215 i think they're 215 16s the standard sort of summer uh 16 inch rims we got with the t t5.1 and we're putting on the 225 70 16s um bf goodridge all terrain so i bought these like i said before i bought these second hand just to try them out to see whether they they work. They're going to be the winter tyres. Um, I've had the, we've sprayed up the rims. I'm having, I've had them all balanced, and one of them was leaking because quite often they, you, they'll they'll leak here if they haven't been uh, if they've had a bit of rust uh, water go down there. So we had to take that one off, uh, polish up the inside of the rim, respray it, and then put the put the tyre back on. But that's all done. They're balanced. So I'm going to put these on here, and we'll see. I'm just going to show you how it fits in the wheel actually that hasn't been lowered it's totally standard i don't particularly like lowering because you know we're in the mountains here i want as much space as i can plus it's easy to get underneath and service it when it's not lowered so first of all i'm just going to quickly whip those off and put those on i've got me well i've got my impact driver there and my jack so i'll get on so that shouldn't take me too long so um i'll be back in a minute so we're going to use a trusty the trusty new impact driver to change these uh, all these summer tires and put on these big winter ones so let's see how the new beast works okay she's jacked up show you one two three and that's all on the lowest set uh, that's all on the lowest setting look there they are absolute doddle let me change the wheel. Okay, look, they're all done now. I've changed all those. And with the help of my trusty little impact, and I had to move the old ones away into the, onto the, into the garage, 14 minutes, 15 minutes. It took me 15 minutes to change all the tires over. Uh, now, if I didn't have the impact driver, that would have taken a lot longer. So we're nearly done. As you can see, that, that fills that wheel arch really quite nicely. Um, now there's one thing left. What so we just need to we just need to smarten this up. So, with the help of my little helper, Heidi. Yeah, clear my boss. Okay. Yeah, my pleasure, boss. Can I can I have my box, please? Thank you very much. Clear That's very. Boss. I'm not. What do you think? Good. Good, yeah. Okay. 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 So my helper will just show me what's inside. Look at that. So I bought these off the internet. Um, I'm just going to stick them on to cover Would up you give the... me these things? Yeah, you can have those little plastic things. So these will go on here. So they clip on there and job to good them. So I'm just going to go around and fit those on. Okay, they look quite smart with those centre caps on there. So, um, yeah, she's on. They're on now. So this is part one. I'll do another follow-up once I've been driving with this for a bit and I'll tell you how they go. So say they they're about four to five percent bigger radius and i say four to five because actually they're, they've got a huge profile on the tread and you know when they wear down there's going to be it's quite a bit of difference in circumference so um just bear that in mind on the speed so um you know 90 mile an hour on the clock or 90 kilometers an hour will be 94.5 so probably about 93 to 94 just to let you know that but anyway um, let, I'm going to just give, give this a run for a few months and see how it goes and I'll uh, I'll be back with uh, a follow-up video of what it's like to drive with 225 17-16s on a VW T5. I say it's standard suspension so it's not lowered, it's not hardened. Oh, this is the multivan so they have hard springs anyway because they're heavy because they've got a lot of stuff in them. But uh, yeah, follow this channel if you like it, give me a thumbs up uh, or subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. You can do it.